God has graciously allowed us to know the end from the beginning. If you are a student of the Bible, nothing that happened in this world today should surprise you. If you're a student of the Bible, you are smarter than the best intelligence community of any secret service of any country around the world. You can tell them exactly what's going to happen. You can tell them that may Ru Russia might be having some shenanigans over there in the Ukraine, but eventually Russia will make its move against Israel. They might put you in straitjacket and send you somewhere, but you will end, end up being right. Because we know the end from the beginning. The Lord says in Isaiah 46, Remember the former things of old, for I am God, there is no other. I am God, there is none like me. What? Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, things that are not yet done. And look what he says, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Bible prophecy is an amazing thing. It's almost a third of the Bible. But so many Christians misinterpret it, butcher it, and take things out of context in order to explain things that will sound better now if they do so. But I want to remind you, Bible prophecy has nothing to say about the nations as such in their relations to one another. You will not find a civil war in Bible prophecy. You will not find the Vietnam War in Bible prophecy. You will not find World War I or World War II in Bible prophecy. But what will you find? You'll find exactly what happened in Israel during that time. It's only in relations to those nations with Israel, the people, and the land. So while the world was fighting World War I, God spoke to the land of Israel and said, I want my nation to come back. And in preparation for their return, first the land must, in an amazing way, turn to fertile land, from, from a desolated land. So you have to understand, Israel is the way for the Bible believer who wants to understand prophecy. Israel is the compass.